stock jockey back with you. A little article I just came across I want to go ahead and share with everybody. Article is entitled ANA World's Fair of Money First Stop to Get Limited Edition Enhanced Uncirculated Set. Numismatic product debuts August 1st, same day Mint offers online and by phone. Okay, little box, two lenses, enhanced and circulated coins. All right, um, let me get into this article a little bit. Might have a little bit of personal commentary also. And uh, give me a second here to uh, start reading this to you. As part of its 225th anniversary celebration in 2017, the U.S. Mint is producing at the San Francisco Mint a 10-coin enhanced uncirculated set. Collectors and dealers attending the American Numismatic Association World's Fair of Money in Denver, August 1st to 5, or 5th, excuse me, will be the first to have the limited edition 10-coin 225th anniversary enhanced uncirculated coin set in hand directly after purchase. The U.S. Mint plans to have the sets available for sale at the Denver convention beginning the opening day of the show. Mint officials have not announced if there will be purchasing restrictions at the show. For those not attending the convention, the sets become available at noon Eastern Time, August 1st, online at usmint.gov or by telephone at 800-872-6468. The San Francisco Mint is currently producing the coins for the limited edition 10 coin set with each coin to exhibit an enhanced uncirculated finish. The 2017 S Mint Marked Enhanced Uncirculated Coin Set is limited to a release of 225,000 sets, but no household ordering limit is in place. No price for the set was available as of July 7. The coins will be available only in the set and will not be included in any other numismatic product in 2017. All of the coins will bear the San Francisco Mint's S Mint mark. The set is being issued in conjunction with the U.S. Mint's year-long celebration in 2017 of the Bureau's 225th anniversary, hence the 225,000 set limit. All right, folks, time for stock jockey commentary here. First of all, there's nothing mentioning that any of these coins are going to have any precious metals as a part of this 10 coin set. And I'm sure that the mint will be asking a premium price. Once again, 10 coin set, enhanced, uncirculated finish and not anything relating to precious metals content. So Sock Jockey says, buyer beware. Uh, there is a spot for commentary to this article, and there's, to this point, been one comment posted, and I agree wholeheartedly with the person that posted this comment. And this person said in his comment, in 2014, after the gold Kennedy half dollar first day sales debacle, the ANA and the U.S. Mint agreed to never again sell a limited edition coin or set at the ANA coin shows or any coin shows to be fair to all. Did they forget that they signed agreements about this due in large part to liability insurance issues? Question mark? Bad situation. And like I say, that was the one comment to this article that I just read to you. And I agree with that person's comment 100%. This is just another 
storm, <laughs> Shiite storm, in the making. And the only people that I feel will benefit from this will be the U.S. Mint and the dealers that buy these sets and quickly flip them. This is something that I would not even reach for my wallet to purchase. I don't want to discourage anybody who may be wanting this set, but I just wanted to be truthful about this. And this is Stock Jockey reminding you to keep on stacking precious metals, your coins, your rounds, your bars. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. Stock Jockey will be posting more videos in the not too distant future. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. And once again, for those who may be attending the show for the ANA World's Fair of Money in Denver, buy at your own peril. And Stock Jockey is out of here.